you know, before we bring in our, our Lincoln Project <laughs> brethren, I, I want to make an announcement. And this is something that I, I've been wrestling with for a long time. And I have made a decision that after the culmination of everything we've seen over the last four years, after the way that this president has behaved, the way that the Republican Party has um, abdicated their responsibilities and made a mockery of their oaths of office, how the party has turned into a, a party of white grievance, hypocrisy, apparently voter suppression is part of the playbook now, with no regrets, authoritarianism seems to be okay, uh, conspiracy theories, racism, misogyny, indecency. These are things that are completely antithetical to everything that I believe as a conservative and everything that I fought for as a conservative Republican for the last 25 years of my adult life. And after last night, I always said that I would reassess my role in the Republican Party, depending on how this election went. I was cautiously optimistic and hopeful that there would be a repudiation of Trumpism. And that would give uh, Republicans like myself, the same ones, an opportunity to possibly rebuild and have a role in trying to root this out and build the party anew. It's clear to me, after almost 70 million people voted for a sociopath, that the Republican Party is no longer something I can associate myself with. I'm done. I'm out. Wow. You know, our colleague Tom Nichols wrote an excellent piece in the Atlantic today where he we were simpatico in this in this. He left already, but he reemphasized the point that set almost 70 million people in this country voted for a sociopath. And Donald Trump last night in the White House actually sounded like a, a two bit dictator making declarations about our system and things that are completely against what all of us who are in the Lincoln Project and those of us who were disaffected Never Trump Republicans, we did not stand for that. And we used to be the party that believed in it. We were the party of Reagan, right? Where freedom was only one generation away. We were the ones that were supposed to be the bulwark. We were the ones that were supposed to yell stop athwart history, as Bill Buckley used to say. We were supposed to be the sentinels in the watchtower. Where has that gone? It has gone to support a sociopath, malignant narcissist who has brought in authoritarianism in a way that it should be dangerous to this country and a threat to our future. So that is something that I no longer want any parts of. I will be an independent until now. I'm still a little C conservative. My belief system and worldview has not changed because the messengers are fallible. But I'll tell you something right now. My fight moving forward is part of this pro-democracy movement and is to do the right thing because here in America, right still matters. And that's where the fight will be will continue for me. So that's that. That's what I wanted to say. That's my announcement. And um, it's it's a new day. Woo! God bless, Tara. <laughs> Love ya. Thank Love you. ya so much. Uh, it, 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 I know that took, a, it was a big jump. And, and, but welcome, the water's fine. The water's fine. <laughs> we're all, we're, it's so, it, I, I just couldn't, no. I you couldn't you do know, it anymore. I haven't, uh, I haven't gotten teary eyed this whole year, and I think I just did. Right. I, Reed got teary eyed. I got teary eyed, and, Reed, and Tara, Reed just I don't, up. I don't have feelings, so this is a big deal. <laughs> right. This is a moment. So, <laughs> allergies. To be honest with you, you know what, Reed? Um, I did too, just now. You know, it's, um, I look at our country and I don't recognize it, and it's, uh, I've always been a natural fighter for what's right, and this there there's so much work to be done, and all of us will play a role in that, and it's an honor to fight alongside you guys, and um, I'm ready to get to work, but it will not be with an R next to my name anytime soon, if ever again.